Well, starting tomorrow, open enrollment begins for Medicare plans. It's when beneficiaries can switch to a different plan or add prescription benefits. There are so many options to choose from, so New 6 Insider Guide Crystal Moyer is here now breaking down what you need to know. Justin and Bridget, navigating Medicare can be difficult. There are dozens of Medicare Advantage plans and dozens more Part D standalone prescription drug options. Sheesh! I sat down with Justin Jacobs, founder and CEO of Health Plan Markets, to answer some of our insider questions. Deborah Weigert asks, what is the difference between HMO POS and regular HMO? When you're enrolled in an HMO plan, which, which means health maintenance organization, when you're enrolled in an HMO, you must use the network and typically you have to stay in that network. Otherwise, if you go outside of that network, you're responsible for 100% of the cost of anything that happens. The newer flavors that are coming out is an HMO POS, which means a point of service. And the point of service agreement basically allows you to go outside of that HMO network if that doctor outside the network agrees to the terms and conditions of that health plan for that visit. Weigert also says that she hears people talking about getting extra help for groceries and wants to know if it's true. Absolutely, that is true. Uh, certain Medicare Advantage plans do have what's called a supplemental benefit where they give you credits uh, either on a Visa card or in your actual ID card where you can go to certain stores or call and you can have groceries either delivered to your home or you can go and pick them up. Gary Liang asks, do Medicare recipients get free eyeglasses up to a certain amount each year? So if you're on original Medicare, the answer is no. There's no vision coverage. There's no dental coverage. Uh, there's very limited hearing. If you're on a, a Medicare Advantage plan, there are Medicare Advantage plans that include vision, dental, and hearing benefits. And they're getting richer and richer every year. I'm seeing unlimited dental these days. I'm seeing, you know, $300 worth of glasses every year. Walter Thinnes says he turned 65 in July of this year and asks, when do I transition to Medicare, in calendar year 2023 or 2024? That depends on when your birthday is. Uh, if you're born on the 1st of July, you're actually eligible for Medicare in June. But any other time you're born in July, you'll be effective in Medicare July, uh, July 1st. Now, that also depends on do you have those 40 quarters? Are you eligible for Medicare? Uh, and if so, once your 65th birthday approaches, you should get a notice in the mail that says, hey, you're eligible for Medicare. Do you want Part A and Part B? And if you have no other coverage, I say yes, get A and B. And then your Medicare will officially start on July 1st. The only time it won't start on July 1st is if your birthday's on July 1st, then it will start in June 1st. Seriously, I can do a whole one hour special on Medicare. A lot of great information there. Don't worry if your question was not answered during this segment. I've got all of your answers. I'm logging it right now. I'm going to post it on clickrolando.com slash insider. Again, Medicare open enrollment period starts tomorrow and it runs through December 7th. And one thing I found out from Justin Jacobs with Health Plan Markets, he says just because you turn 65 does not mean you are el eligible automatically for Medicare. You have to have paid into Medicare for 40 quarters or 10 consecutive years to qualify. Most times, he says, you'll get a notice in the mail. You can also start shopping for Medicare 90 days before you're officially eligible. Oh, I hope I hope folks were, had a pen and paper ready right there because yeah. that's what you need. You literally need to, to write it down and figure out what's best for you, and there are just so many options. Yes, Mercy. I mean, you definitely have to do research and oh, find yeah. different ways to calculate all of that and yes. work with your family, Maximize too, to figure it, yeah. it out. And some good news there, there are some companies out there that they have people that will meet you at mm, your house yeah. or, or wherever, and they have that software where they kind of punch in all of your needs, and then it pops out. Let the out computer the, do it. Yeah, <laughs> and it pops out the best option. So that's definitely a good way to go if, if you're not tech savvy. You don't want to yeah. do all that research. But so important. Yeah. So, Crystal, thank you so much.